Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's lesson. So now today, uh, let's continue with what we were doing with integration. Uh, in the last class, you had copied this formulas on integration by substitution part 2 as it is written in the topic here, integration by substitution part 2. And there are six formulas here, as you can see here. I hope you have already copied down these formulas. Let me explain this formula one by one actually. So the first formula is integration dx divided by x square plus a square. This formula is similar to the one that you have uh, um, in the standard formula where we have integration dx divided by x square plus 1 or 1 plus x square. And the answer was tan inverse uh, x, isn't it? So this formula is similar to that as well as the integrand is also the answer is also the same. So if you see here, uh, it says integration dx divided by x square plus a square and the um, answer to this is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. You Obviously, you have to add plus c to every formula. You are aware of that, isn't it? And the second one is integration dx divided by x square minus a square. Look at this uh, carefully because these formulas are quite confusing actually. It says 1 by 2a log modulus of x minus a divided by x plus a. There is a modulus here and when x is greater than a, obviously x square has to be, x has to be greater than a here. That's why the placement is very, very important here. That's why x square front and a square at the back here, okay? So the third formula is integration dx divided by a square minus x square where x is less than a. That's why the placement here later. And the formula changes now 1 by 2a log a plus x, a minus x. See, it has been reversed, okay? The numerator and denominator uh, gets exchanged. If you look at the upper formula and the lower formula, they are quite different formulas, okay? So remember the formula is different when x square is um, towards the right, uh, left, uh, whereas the formula is different when a square is towards the right, uh, left, okay? So uh, change of formula here in two different uh, ways of writing it, okay? When you write x square minus a square, different formula. When you write a square minus x square, there's a different formula, okay? And the fourth one we have here, with the root now okay so same formulas but with the roots all three formula with root root of x square plus a square is log x plus under root x square plus a square modulus check this out and number five dx under root x square minus a square where log under root x plus same see here plus plus okay there is also a plus here there is also a plus here the only thing is under the square root there is a minus here every formula has to have plus c you are aware of that and finally the last one integration dx divided by under root a square minus x square equals to sine inverse x by a this formula is similar to the one that we have done in standard one integration dx divided by under root x square minus one okay the formula was sine inverse x so it's almost the similar one here check this out uh, not x square my mistake uh, it has to be sorry one minus x square so this was um, a sine inverse x and similar one here, if you have an uh, in dx divided by under root a square minus x square, you have sine inverse x by a. So these six formulas are indeed very, very important here. Based on these six formulas, we are going to do some sums, uh, which will involve some quadratics actually, okay? So there will be some interesting uh, integration coming up next. Okay, there are uh, different types of integration under this um, substitution part two, we may say. Uh, that will include these six formulas. So let me discuss one by one. The first one being type one, as you can see here. Um, let me write it down and show it to you. You may copy this also, pause the video and cop copy this type one and the rule, as you can see here. There's type one written here and copy the rule as well, all these integrals as well as the rule, okay? So I'm going to show you uh, in the next page, I'll write it down actually. Okay, the first type or type one, let me write it down here, type one. We have uh, integration dx divided by ax square plus bx plus c that's a quadratic in the denominator if you ever have a quadratic in the denominator or same format but with a root ax square plus bx plus c check this out everyone same integral both sides okay it's the same actually but the only difference is here it's without root and here it's with root then the rule says then the rule says express check this out express ax square plus bx plus c as a sum or difference of perfect squares of two perfect squares perfect squares okay uh, let me explain what do you mean by sum or difference of two perfect squares either you can make it as uh, a square minus b square something like this or you can make it as a square uh, plus b square okay you need to convert this quadratic into perfect squares as a sum or difference this would be the sum of perfect square this would be the difference of perfect square either you can convert this into the first format or you can convert it into the second format where a and b would be some expressions okay so uh, 
once I do an example of this sum, you will understand it better how to express any term as sum and difference of perfect square. So you can go back again. Let's see the formula. It is the same expression I have written here, the type 1, where you have the quadratic in the denominator or a quadratic with the root. By the way, a should not be equals to 0 if you see here, because if a becomes 0, then it will no longer become a quadratic. Okay, the express ax square plus bx plus c as the sum or difference of two perfect squares. Okay, so let us try an example based on this and I will do the example right from the sum that we have here itself. Okay, let me try this one first here. Okay, um, and this would be the example integration dx divided by x square plus 2x plus 5. So, go here and then the first sum I'm going to do would be integration dx divided by x square plus 2x plus 5 x square plus 2x plus 5 okay this would be the first one now okay before we solve the first sum uh, let's learn how to apply these six formulas with some simple examples okay as you have here the first one i'm going to show you the first sum that i will do actually not the sum first example about uh, just to learn how to apply this formula would be this one integration dx divided by x square plus 9 check this out okay Okay, as you have here, integration dx divided by x square plus 9. See it properly, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> now, I need to integrate this. If you look at it properly, I can write this integral as integration dx divided by x square plus 3 square. Is that correct, everyone? Yes. Now, here, 3 acts as a. So, doesn't it look like x square plus a square like this? Integration dx divided by x square plus a square. Doesn't it look like that, everyone? And what's the formula? Let's go back and see. The formula is integration dx divided by x square plus a square. The formula is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. Okay. 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, here a, x, uh, a is 3 for me. So, the answer will be 1 by 3 tan inverse x by 3. And that will be the answer plus c. So, did you understand? How do you um, apply this formula in integral sums? Is that clear, everyone? Okay. The next one would be um, a little different one. Integration, if you see here, um, let me do it here. Integration dx divided by 4x square minus 1. 4x square minus 1. Okay. Let me put the limits also. The limits are 1 and 2. Okay. This is the second one. How would you do it? You may think about um, this as your option. Check this out. Uh, dx divided by 2x whole square minus 1 square. That's also absolutely correct. Check this out, okay? That would be option 1 because I need to express it as sum and difference of perfect square in these type of sums, isn't it? So, I can write it at 2x square minus 1 square. Then this formula, this uh, sum, integral sum would look like integration dx by a x square minus a square where there is a variable first. Isn't it everyone? Yes? Is that correct? In such case, what's the um, form? Uh, what's the um, uh, um, in answer for this type of integral? If you check here, x square minus a square is of the second category. 1 by 2a log x minus a x plus a with a modulus. Log x minus a x plus a with a modulus. Isn't it? Yes. Plus c. Remember, but the problem is this formula will work only there is if there is a x here, not 2x. Here we have 2x, but whereas there is a x. So if there is a 2x, you know we have discussed this what will happen to the formula the constant will come down if there is any coefficient isn't it everyone so i can write it as uh, one by sorry uh, one by two first because there is a two constant one by two isn't it integration uh, sorry not integration one by two into now the formula if i write one by two uh, the constant comes down now whatever is the formula of this category i can write it as uh, 1 by 2a because a is 1 here log check this out uh, 2x minus 1 2x plus 1 plus oh sorry no plus c no longer plus c okay there will be a bracket this is a definite uh, sorry fundamental so 1 by 2 there are limits so 1 by 4 ultimately log uh, 2x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 and the values 1 to 2. Check this out. Okay. So now let's type put the values. Time to put the values. 1 by 4 out. And keep in outside upper one first. So it'll be log uh, 4 minus 1. The upper one. 4 minus 1. That's 3. Divided by 4 plus 1. 5. And uh, the middle sign minus log modulus. Uh, 2 minus 1. 1. And 2 uh, plus 1. 3. 
and modulus close. So the answer would be 1 by 4 log 3 by 5 divided by, I can write divided by 1 by 3. So ultimately the answer is 1 by 4. This will move right up. So log 9 by 5. So that will be the answer, isn't it? So I can do it this way, one option. Or the other option would be, what would be the other option? As you know, I can I can copy this one more time. 1 by 2 dx divided by 2x minus 1 square. 2x square minus 1 square. Or the uh, a little lengthier method of doing this was let 2x equals to uh, z. Because until and unless this 2x e is equals to x, the formula won't work. Okay, the, though the other option is putting 1 by 2 constant down and then um, making, uh, sorry, using the formula, thinking it to be same as the uh, original formula, okay. Otherwise, the, uh, the uh, you may say the proper or the lengthy option would be this one. So, 2dx would be equals to dz and then dx will be equals to half dz. I will get ultimately the same actually, okay. So, when, uh, change the limit, when x equals to 1, z equals to 2, when x equals to 2, putting it here by the way, x equals to 2, z will be 4. So, I'll have integration 2 to 4 now and then dz divided by z square minus 1 square with a half outside because it is half dz. So, half will come out, okay. So, I will have 1 by 2 into, again the same formula with the log. What was the original formula? 1 by 2a log x minus a x plus a, okay. If you can see here, here is the formula, okay. So, I'll have to write... Uh, 1 by 2a would mean 2 log uh, z minus 1 z plus 1 with the modulus and close and 2 to 4 correct so let's simplify it here okay so that gives me 1 by 4 out and then uh, the numbers first so 4 first 4 minus 1 log 3 by uh, 4 plus 1 5 that's the first one minus the middle sign the lower value second log 2 minus 1 1 and log 3 that will be the second one and then 1 by 4 as you know the formula log a minus b is log a by b so 3 by 5 divided by 1 by 3 and that will be ultimately 1 by 4 log 9 by 5 so we got the same answer we've got here uh, the, the other one also log 1 by 5 and see let me highlight and show it to you so whether you do by the lengthy method wherein you are substituting the value here or you do by the shortcut by taking the constant down here it is the same i suppose you've understood this because we've already discussed if there is a constant like this actually let me show you um, if we have a x to the power sorry x to the power n integration dx then we can write it as x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 uh, plus c isn't it but what if we've already discussed this if we have uh, ax plus 1 over to the power n dx then this can also be treated as a standard formula it will be ax plus 1 over to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 but the only difference is 1 by a will come down okay the constant isn't it same thing uh, in the other uh, functions as well integration of like um, sine x dx is uh, minus cos x uh, dx but if you uh, sorry plus c but if you have integration sine 2x dx then you know it will be 1 by 2 the constant comes down and then cos 2x with a minus plus c so somewhat similar like this the same thing has been done here so we had um, uh, we actually have the formula 1 by integration dx divided by x square plus a square but if you ever have uh, let's say let me rub this if you ever have a uh, integration dx by a x square uh, plus uh, let me say uh, b square okay or i may put it like this let me not write ax square uh, bx square uh, plus a square because the second one here is a square then i can write it as 1 by b first and then it will work the same it will be 1 by 2a log and the same formula bx uh, this was minus supposed to be minus bx minus a bx plus a etc okay so i hope you've understood this so the formula will work in a similar manner so that's what i have done it here both the um, uh, i have done two methods first one i have uh, in the first one i have just brought down the constant in the second one i have replaced the whole variable and converted it to z okay, the same sum now integration uh, 1 to 2 dx divided by 
4x square minus 1. Now the same sum, we have done it by two methods, okay, slight different. But I can also do it by another third method and what I can do here is something like this. I think this will be far more easier. If you ever have a constant, the best option is to remove the constant. So I'll write integration 1 to 2 dx divided by 4 common x square minus 1 by 4. Can I write it like this everyone? Because 4 can be taken out as common though 4 is not there in 1 but it will appear in the denominator. Then 4 out in the denominator by the way 1 by 4 out 1 to 2 dx divided by I can write it as x square minus half square. So this formula looks similar to integration dx divided by x square minus a square which is 1 by 2a log uh, x minus a x plus a plus c isn't it. So 1 by 4 into uh, 1 by 2a means 2 into half log same thing here uh, x minus half uh, x plus half and then on the bracket and then 1 to 2 okay let's put the values 2 and 2 gets cancelled 1 by 4 out and then i have here uh, i think i'll have to put the upper one first log 2 minus half is 1 and half that's 3 by 2 and divided by 2 plus half is uh, 2 and half that's 5 by 2 that's the first one minus log uh, the second one would be uh, 1 minus half is half and then 1 plus half is 1 and half that's 3 by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled 2 and 2 gets cancelled here and then I get 1 by 4 integration log uh, 3 by 5 uh, minus log uh, 1 by 3 and then 1 by 4 log uh, 3 by 5 divided by 1 by 3 as you all know this is the formula uh, log a minus b is log a by b so log that will be 9 by 5 we got the same answer I think the last option was the most easiest one so I have shown you three options wherein you can uh, always uh, um, apply any one of these methods to solve these type of particular sum but personally if you ask me I would prefer this uh, third method taking constant out whenever there is a constant in right in front of x square that would make the, make the sum more easy okay now finally let us come to the sum that we were about to discuss earlier so this was the one here integration dx uh, divided by x square plus 2x plus 5 let me do it in a different page integration mm, I'll add a page here okay integration let me write the sum again uh, integration dx divided by x square plus 2x plus 5 am I correct let me check here the sum was right here x square plus 2x plus 5 absolutely so how would you do this sum now according to the rule I need to express the denominator this as a sum or difference of perfect square isn't it this is how it is done actually okay how to express in perfect square check this out here mm, we have we have uh, x square plus 2x plus 5 did you understand everyone if there was any coefficient in right in front of x square I would have taken it out but there is no coefficient so just leave as it is okay now I need to make it into a perfect square apply it to the formula of a plus b whole square doesn't it look like a plus b the first two terms here looks like a, a plus b whole square term isn't it a, a square plus 2 something so let me do it like this mm, the first will be x square plus the second term has to be 2ab isn't it so a is x now what should I put the b part so that this matches with the second term there should be a 1 here because 2 into x into 1 gives me 2x back again this is x square back again to complete this I need to make 1 square now it looks like a square plus 2ab plus b square but the problem is there is a 5 here and this is 1 square 1 so I must add 4 extra to make it normal isn't it check this out one more time x square becomes the first term 2x into 1 is 2x becomes the second term and 1 square plus 4 becomes the third term that's 5 got it so now the first three expression the first three term gives me x plus 1 whole square and the second one gives me 2 square so doesn't it become a sum of a perfect square sum or difference of a perfect square it's a sum of a perfect square so now my integrand will become integration check this out dx divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 2 square I can write this okay no coefficient here check this out no coefficient I can use the normal formula so this is integration dx divided by x square plus a square category let's check it out x square plus a square category first one so what's the formula uh, 1 by a tan inverse x by a so let's put the formula 1 by 
a means 2 tan inverse x means again x plus 1 by 2 and then plus c so that's the answer for the first sum remember that this acts as a let me highlight this x as a uh, sorry x and this x as a so doesn't it look like x square minus a, a plus a square so that's why i'm using this formula and no coefficient means the normal formula can work out had there been a coefficient just an example had there been a though there will never be a coefficient actually i would never try to um, uh, bring a coefficient in the x term because if there was a coefficient here two i would have taken two common if there was a four i would have taken four common okay but suppose you get a coefficient just an example if you ever get a coefficient like this then first you need to write one by two because the coefficient comes down then whatever formula you'll have to write that will follow okay remember coefficient here means coefficient comes down got it so this is how we solve the first sum again i'll show you how to convert into a perfect square i suppose we have a problem with that x square plus what was the perfect square x square plus 2x plus 5 making into a perfect square means converting the formula into a plus b whole square okay okay the second part will follow automatically so there is a x square i write it as a square i'm making x as a plus the second term should be 2ab plus b square isn't it yes are you getting it everyone so in order to complete it since a is used as x here because there is a x square so i have to use a as x so there has to be 2ab this has to be filled with a that is x so now 2 into x is 2x already done so what should be the b part what what does the expression demand one because only if i write here one then will, this will become 2x isn't it if i write here two it will become 4x which is not correct so i will have to write here one remember that again i'm showing you i'll have to write here one okay then 2x will be equals to 2x because i wrote b as 1 this has to be filled up with 1 so that becomes uh, x square plus 2ab plus b square but the problem is though the first part and the second part this part and this part is same the second part the second part is same but the third part is not the same there is a 5 here there is a 1 here 1 square is 1 so what should i add extra to make it 5 4 extra so this becomes x plus 1 whole square and 4 becomes 2 square so this is how it is done to convert any expression into a perfect square don't worry we'll do more sums based on this okay here we have another interesting one the second sum it says integration dx divided by under root 2 plus x minus x square it is actually the same as first type only if you see here uh, the first type says uh, even if there is a root uh, there shouldn't be any problem isn't it so root under a quadratic or simply a quadratic without a root the rule remains the same express that into a sum or difference of perfect square okay so i can consider this as well also as type one so here let me write it down here here we have here we have um, 2 plus x minus x square isn't it so in order to convert this into a perfect square my um, i will do it something like this here so though it is in a reversed order isn't it you can always convert it into perfect square like this but it is in a reversed order that's why i will just uh, make it uh, um, into a simple form by taking minus common so if you ever have minus x square try to take minus common okay so i'll take minus common and then later i'll put back the minus sign remember that just for the sake of doing this sum okay so if i take minus common it'll become x square minus x minus 2 do you agree yes because uh, minus common means minus into plus is minus minus into minus plus and minus into minus last one as well plus now it becomes more simpler isn't it so you still have a minus outside check this out so it'll be a square uh, minus 2ab because there is a minus sign in between so i'll have to write here minus so minus 2ab plus uh, b square it should follow something like this isn't it so what shall i do here is there is a x x a has to be used as x x square x square that's correct uh, this is also to be filled with x but now the problem is if i multiply right now this i'll get 2x but there is a x here so how to make it same what uh, what does the uh, situation what does the expression demand i think i'll have to put here half because only if i put here half uh, check this out only if i put here half then 2 and 2 will get cancelled and this will become a normal x do you agree again let's see it one more time uh, the problem here is the middle term is x but right now i'm getting 2x so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the b half so that 2 and 2 gets cancelled and i originally get x okay but that way this will also be half half square okay now uh, if that is the case then subtract the half square again and add 2 check this out okay so what did i do again repeat 
let me show you so um, to complete a perfect square i made this into x square a i have used as x 2a b okay a is x b i have used half because 2 and 2 gets cancelled and ultimately you'll get x the expression will remain the same so this two are exactly the same but the problem is the last b square i have to use it as half square because i have used half in the previous expression here so half square but i'll nullify that half square because i'll have to cancel this half and add ultimately two okay so this half is unwanted so i'll nullify minus half square plus two okay so that gives me minus check this out uh, the first three expression will give me x minus half whole square isn't it and then i'll get here plus two i've written it like this minus one by four is that correct i've written the plus expression first so just to make it easier then minus uh, x minus a half whole square and if i take lcm out here i think you'll get uh, eight minus one mentally you can do it um that'll be four to eight minus seven by four is that correct seven by four with a plus sign okay so ultimately this will become uh, x minus half whole square and then i'll write this as a plus uh, root seven by two whole square can i do that oh sorry sorry my mistake mm, think uh, this should have been minus 2 so that will give me minus common 1 by 4 mm, sorry sorry uh, minus common 1 by 4 uh, plus 2 so that will give me minus and ultimately here I'll get 8 9 by 4 sorry so that gives me 3 by 2 whole square with a minus here in the minus here and ultimately when you insert the minus sign in we give you 3 by 2 whole square minus x minus half whole square so check this out properly so this is what i've got now my integral will change to integration dx divided by under root 3 by 2 whole square minus x minus half whole square remember no coefficient i will never want a coefficient there okay whatever is the coefficient i have taken it out you may say that way also here minus one was the coefficient so i have taken it out so check this out properly one more time everyone i suppose you've understood the first expression uh, this is how the situation works here that's why i have to insert my uh, half as b part and this minus half square is to cancel the half and then the normal minus 2 i have inserted it okay but simplifying that the first three expression gives you this x minus half whole square the leftover is only this much the leftover is this much so i have taken minus common from there 1 by 4 plus 2 and then this becomes 9 by 4 ultimately and then this thing follows okay ultimately what i have done this minus has to be inserted inside so i've just inserted it when i insert this first term will become negative the second term will become positive and it will change places as well okay so what is this formula this is a square minus x square category the third or last one sine inverse x by a the formula is sine inverse x by a so i'll get sine inverse x means x minus half and a is 3 by 2 plus c so simplify sine inverse uh, 2x minus 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled so i'll get sine inverse 2x minus 1 by 3 so that's the answer for this particular sum okay applying the formula is far more easier the only thing is how to convert it into a perfect square you have to learn it okay properly so did you understand so that's all i have it for today i hope you've understood these sums based on integration by substitution part 2 using those six formulas we will do more sums in the uh, upcoming classes.